Alright everyone, I'm putting this video together for those of you who requested it and anyone else who is interested in how I did the water cooling on the Xbox One. Before I begin, some of you were wondering what this was around the radiator. It's just a rubber mouse pad I can put around the openings. As you can see, it's just a temporary thing until I can make something custom and permanent. So to start off, I use the Corsair H60 for the water cooling loop. For those of you who aren't aware of the Corsair H60, it's a water cooling kit that is closed looped and a system that is very user friendly to install. What I went ahead and did first was take off the heat sink on the Xbox One and remove the X bracket underneath the processor underneath the motherboard. I then replaced it with the H60 water block and pump combo and fastened it down with the bracket that comes with the kit. So I personally used the H60 because it had the thinnest radiator I could find, however anyone else that can find a thinner radiator it would be more sufficient because you wouldn't have to modify the case as much. For the wiring on the pumps, I wired the positive to the Blu-ray constant 12 volt wire, which I will show you a picture of at the end of the video. And for the negative, you can wire it anywhere on the metal aluminum body. I cut the top of the aluminum frame to fit the radiator, and also I had to cut the top of the cover of the Xbox One so the radiator could stick out. Obviously, if I could avoid it, I would, but there just wasn't enough room. This has been PBK Project Video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you are interested on videos for future projects. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and we will reply to them as we get them.